There you go. There you go. Yeah, just going to be honorary frog brother today. That's nice. right. Absolutely. We we're going to we're going to we're, we're going to make you do the frog brother oath. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's do it right now. Oh, I, I, there isn't really one, but we'd make <laughs> one up for you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So I'm so excited to be talking uh, about The Lost Boys, which is my favorite horror comedy of all time. Awesome. Uh, I just think it's fantastic. Just quick question right off the top. Have either of you ever tried to play the saxophone shirtless? <laughs> um i probably have i'm not gonna lie i've got a saxophone in my house but i just i never would pull it off like tim capella you know he is yeah. the quintessential sweaty sax guy mm -hmm. yeah i could never do what tim did i mean just it's it was you know, he shakes his little, you know. yeah I mean, it's so erotic the way that he yeah, does it i mean going, yeah oh the girls went nuts for it right yeah. and it's cool too i mean I, I watched it recently again and it's like the way he blows it out i don't know you know we just like it just blows out i don't know if that's the term it, it blows out all right. <laughs> yeah no it blows uh, but, out we can but, we can roll with that you blows know what out. the thing is he's still doing it i mean yeah. i don't know if you've seen him but yeah he's, yeah he's on tour because we're on tour you know with my yeah, band see him. and yeah. and sometimes you know he'll come to the conventions or we'll see him there or uh like a couple weeks ago i was playing at one venue in texas and then all of a sudden they say oh yeah tim's down the street he actually is playing another venue the same night i was like really that's crazy did you bring the audience with you you know to uh, i think we up? both did well we both did well but the point is <laughs> is that he still does the bit i mean he's still got the yeah. ponytail he still takes his shirt off and he even oils himself up before he <laughs> yeah. goes and he's even got the dog collar around his neck god i, I, I i'm in my 30s and i don't have the confidence to oil myself up like like that yeah. so good that's on right. him People's that's good. amazing yeah. and quick I, question you know, i'm in my 20s and i don't feel that way so <laughs> i'm with you so there are some sweet comic books that were on display in the lost boys and i was just curious did you guys ever get to keep any of them no i mean i didn't think to to to, to keep any uh he, Corey used to, Corey convinced me to keep some stuff, like some costume items and things like that. Yeah. And that was good. I'm glad you did. Um, but I, I didn't think to grab those comics. I'm glad <laughs> I convinced you because I, of course, kept mine and then gave them away to uh, this terrible person who talked me out of them. But that's another story altogether. Uh, so anyway, no, no, we, we do have mementos, though. And especially from the second and the third film, you know, I kept my full gear. I kept the stakes, you know, the headbands, all of it. So... Yeah, you know, you, you collect little bits and pieces along the way. Awesome. Well, Corey, you're connected to my childhood in a number of ways. I mean, the Goonies, Tommy Jarvis and Friday the 13th, Gremlins, and your voice still to this day is who I hear for Donatello when I read Ninja Turtles comics. Oh, thank you. So, thank you. yeah, of course, if you could only pick one of those roles to reprise, which one would it be? Um, you know, I mean, we've done Lost Boys, right? We've done a couple sequels. I'd still love to do a... a, a a yeah. final one that's done the right way with big budget and all right, the all the cast show, yeah or the frog brothers show that's a good idea can we you call it vampires there? everywhere i like it i like it yeah we're with you we're with you um so <laughs> <laughs> actually okay we'll put you in it that's fine we'll put you, <laughs> just, you, you can just kill me that's fine right, I just we'll just get make, killed oh, we can't kill you if you're an honorary frog brother that's true well i mean if one of the frog brothers has to sacrifice himself I'm right. happy to be that guy. There you okay, go. So good, you yeah. can be like the redheaded stepchild that we didn't know existed, but now we found him <laughs> yeah, and he literally. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> uh, no, we, uh, you know, we're, we're just very grateful that, that people still love the movie, that people still remember the yeah. movie and now it's getting this re-release. So it feels like it's kind of fresh and fun all over again. For me, you know, being Edgar Frog is is almost like part of it. We even do cameos, this, this thing called yeah. cameos where we dress up in our frog outfits and we do them. But that said, I still want to make a, a sequel to Goonies. I don't know if it'll ever happen, you know, especially with cool. Donner gone. It's a sad thing. Uh, but, you know, every few years, you know, it seems like there's a new idea in the pipeline and, you know, Warner Brothers gets that close to pushing the button and then it just kind of falls apart. So who knows? Maybe one day yeah. it will happen. Maybe not. Fingers crossed. I'm here for it. I would I would be first in line. Uh, right. Thank you guys for taking the time to talk with me. Like I said, I love The Lost Boys. I share it with my son. Uh, we're, we're, we, we're huge fans. So thank you very much. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank we're you. grateful for you. Thank you.